Hello everybody, Claudia Boleyn here and um, this is my weekly vlog. Um, I'm going to have to apologise for this video in advance because I'm having a really bad mental health day and I had a weird evening and I've had a horrible day so yeah, it's not a very good one today but it's kind of a real video so I don't think it will be as <laughs> upbeat as my usual ones. I just feel really bad today really. But um, I think it's a good idea for me to vlog sometimes when I feel like this. So you can see it as well. Um, I was supposed to be going out this evening and my family have gone without me, which is really annoying. We were taking my grandma out for, um, for just for dinner at a restaurant which is just down the road from where I live. So it's, it's not that challenging for me to go to in terms of restaurants, as far as restaurants go. But I find it really difficult to, um, to go out to eat anyway because it's like a, a mixture of stuff I find really difficult because I have an anxiety disorder and so just the idea of going into a place and sitting in a crowded hot place with loads of people around is awful and horrible. Having to sit there and not being able to move and being expected to sit in one place is just like hell. Um, also, I have real trouble with eating um, like with, I've got emetophobia, so although that's getting a lot better to be honest, I'm working really hard on that. Um, but it means that I'm, I kind of restrict the food I eat, and I'm really scared of eating when I'm out, and I have this obsession with food hygiene and things like that. So I don't like not being able to see how my food is prepared. So it's kind of like a big trust issue I have when I go to a restaurant or something. Um, so I'm always panicking that my food's going to be underdone or. It's going to make me ill, it's going to make me sick, or I'm going to be ill when I'm out, and what am I going to do, and people are going to think I'm weird. A huge part of it is, it's kind of strange, because it's, I don't want people to think I'm weird when I'm out. Uh, it sounds really, really strange, but I'm one of those people that, I actually have to rush to the toilet a lot. Not even because I need to go, but because when I get a panic attack, I can't be in public. I need to just go somewhere where you can just lock yourself in a cubicle and just breathe and be okay. And I, I think this has stuck with me since school. Uh, I used to have to do that at school a lot. I used to get panic attacks really badly in lessons. And it used to, I used to get hot and cold and I was sweating and I'd just get this urge to run from the room. Like, I just couldn't stay in there. I had to run. I had like this flight or, or fight reaction, which is really common with panic attacks. And I just had to get out. And so I used to go in the toilets. I used to lock myself in there, sit on the toilet floor or put the lid down and sit on the toilet and just take deep breaths and try and calm myself down. And I remember coming back into the lessons and people making little comments like really, really silly things that shouldn't you shouldn't care about at all like people are like oh she's been out for a shit or whatever or <laughs> oh she's skiving or something you know that kind of thing all this kind of negative stuff and I I suppose I just absorbed that kind of idea that people were judging and and that kind of thing and that I've got this awful complex about that now so I hate looking weird when I'm out so instead of just explaining to people, which would be so much easier, like if I have a bit of a freak out, instead of explaining and saying, I'm really sorry, I, I have like an anxiety disorder, I get really bad panic attacks, I lie about it because I don't want to tell people, I feel embarrassed. I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to improve on that. I feel a lot more confident in, in saying, like online, it's a huge thing for me that I talk about mental health issues because at school, not at all. I wouldn't have spoken about it whatsoever. I would have said maybe I was a bit depressed, but... You know, I felt like a weirdo and I was judged for it. People did think I was a bit weird and I, I used to do all this weird stuff that wouldn't have been weird to people if I'd explained what was going on. But like I say, I was like constantly running out of lessons and locking myself in toilets and like, it looked like I was skiving lessons a lot because I, I just wouldn't turn up and I'd be around school that day and then I wouldn't turn up to a lesson and it would just be because I was crying in the toilets and like freaking out and absolutely having a major panic attack that could last for ages. And um, and sometimes I'd just get my grandma and granddad to take me home. I'd just ring them up and I'd just disappear from school. Um, so yeah, my I had the most awful school term, which was not really the fault of my school completely, really. I, d I think most schools are bad with mental health. They're not great with the students that are mentally ill. I had some amazing teachers at school, but as a whole, my school life was absolute hell and I would hate to relive it. Like, you know when people say that your school years are the best years of your life, that, that had better not be true for me. In fact, that can't even be true for me because I've had a better year being stuck at home after a breakdown than any of my years at school because school was like hell for me. 
you'll get that if you have an anxiety disorder or something like that and you get panic attacks all the time in public and you're constantly stressing out it was like walking into hell every morning and being there for six hours and you're just counting down the hours and freaking out and every day something awful and new is happening and you add to that the stress of school as well um I, I found it really hard to keep on top of it. I'll make a video at some point about what it's like to be mentally ill when you're at school because I get loads of messages about that. But anyway, what I was saying is that um, my family have gone out to eat and another thing I find really difficult with that is cutlery because I'm really big with the hygiene stuff. It means a lot to me and I don't like to use restaurant cutlery, really. Sometimes I kind of psych myself into it and I say, come on, Claudie, you've got to get better at this. You've got to just do it. But I'm just really not feeling good today. I'm... To be honest, I'm, I'm glad I've been able to make this video because earlier I was um, I was taking selfies because I, I like to try and take selfies when I feel bad and, and actually when I feel bad, what I do, something that one of my therapists said to me is do something that you enjoy, do something that's quite creative. So what I often do is I'll put on makeup and stuff and it's it's just something that's kind of soothing, the action is soothing and you know, it's, it's nice. You feel like a weird little sense of achievement when you've done it and you can take some nice pictures of it and that's good when you're having a bad mental health day. So I know I must come off like a total narcissist because my Instagram account is new. And to be honest, it's mostly just pictures of my face. It's just selfies. But that's kind of a way I, I kind of deal with it when I'm feeling really bad. I just kind of distract myself with something like that. I draw as well. Drawing's another great thing for that. And um, I mean, also, I don't go out very much. I can't go out without a member of my family with me because I can panic. So... Um, I can't really go out and take all these great pictures. So most of my Instagram account are just pictures of me in this in this bedroom, just posing around. I look like a terrible narcissist. I promise I'm not. I'm really not much of a narcissist. I'm I'm actually kind of I'm strange. Sometimes I get I'm I'm the most confident person in the world, or I convince myself I am, and it feels great to be like that. And sometimes when I'm a little bit manic, I, I can I can convince myself of that and I feel great and I think, oh, I'm going to look great in all my pictures and stuff and I'd feel wonderful. And other days I just wake up and look at my face in the mirror and just want to start crying, basically, because I think I'm the ugliest person ever in the world. And it's just really, really strange. Um, but but something else odd about, about that is that like loads of people um, like trolling and stuff and hate mail and you get... Cause, my YouTube channel's got quite a few subscribers. You know, I do get hate mail and stuff about my looks, and the weird thing is I, I really don't care what people on the internet say about me at all. Um, it's never bothered me, which is... For me, it's... it's it's I'm a very... I'm my own worst enemy, basically. I, if, if I know if I think I look good or I think I look bad, and I care about that, and I care about what the people close to me think and the people I care about. But to be honest, people on the internet really don't bother me. I, I really don't care. And people don't believe me. They think I'm being really defiant when I'm saying that and just, you know, not giving in to trolls. But I honestly just, I don't care. Maybe that makes me, maybe that makes me a narcissist. But I really don't care. <laughs> it just doesn't bother me whatsoever. I guess it doesn't feel real when it's online, to be honest. You know, you get some weird comments, but... So anyway, yesterday I was kind of manic. I had like this really manic evening and I just wanted to run and I was laughing I was repeating what people are saying on the telly and I drew three pictures of Anne Boleyn in like one hour um and I was so creative and I was just up and doing stuff and I cleared my whole bedroom and I've managed to mess it up again today but I cleared my whole bedroom and everything was not wonderful and I when I get kind of like mania symptoms I I don't I don't know I haven't been diagnosed with bipolar or anything but my family is starting to wonder if maybe I've, I've got I've got bipolar I don't know I'll, I'll probably get that seen too at some point but I definitely do get these sort of manic episodes so maybe I do I don't know I've got no idea I haven't really looked it up or anything um but um yeah I just I go into this kind of this strange it's kind of irritable and it, I feel like I've got all this like I feel like the inside of me is like fizzing and buzzing and I just there's so much I want to do and I get frustrated that other people don't want to do the same thing and like I want to go out for a run and I'll say I'll say to my family I'll say does any, so anyone want to go for a run with me and they'll be like no Claudia it's like it's like nine o'clock no one's going for a run with you and I'll feel personally offended by that <laughs> but that's I guess that's what what it is when you're in like a state like that it can be good because you do loads of creative stuff but Oh, it can be hell as well. It can be really awful when you just, sometimes you just want to tear off your own skin. You've got so much energy inside you and you don't know what to do with it. It's terrible. So that was yesterday. And this morning I just felt ill and depressed. And that's just weird. Because I was so high yesterday. And so low this morning. And there was a period for, for today, and I'm not making this up genuinely. I, my, 
oh god, the lighting in here is really bad, I'm sorry. Um, but I genuinely could barely open my eyes, and I, I'm gonna move the light, just bear with me a second. Okay, so I just changed the light, sorry about that, it was just irritating, it doesn't look any better actually, but anyway, what was I saying? Oh, oh yeah, I was saying that I went from kind of manic to really depressed this morning, and I couldn't really open my eyes, and I was, my mum took me, we were looking for, um, for presents from my grandma today, so my grandma, uh, my mum took me to the charity shops because she had a half day at work, and um, I can go out if I'm with a member of my family, because if I panic, then they sort of, you know, they know what to do. Um, and I and I feel more comfortable with a member of my family. I couldn't do it by myself. I, I wish I could, because I'm almost 21, and it's a real hindrance in my life, but I'm fighting through it, and um, I do what I can. But we're looking for something for my grandma, because it's um, her birthday coming up soon, and also it's Mother's Day, so my mum needs to get her something. And, um, and it's kind of about... 20 minutes into shopping I just completely zoned out and I completely zoned out and I didn't even realise I'd gone and my mum was sort of like what's the matter with you like what's what what the hell's wrong and I didn't realise it but my eyes were sort of like it was like I was really tired it felt like I felt when I took my overdose actually um when I took my overdose sorry to talk about that it's not a very happy topic but when I when I took my overdose I I was so, I felt so tired. Why have it, why has it just suddenly gone so bright? I'm not quite sure what just happened. Um, but yeah, when I took my overdose, I just, I remember feeling so tired. And it was a good tired, but just so tired. My, my eyelids were so heavy. And I just wanted to like sink into the ground. Um, and I kind of felt like that today. And I just followed her around like I was in a dream, really. Just, and it was good that I managed to stay out because before I would have, probably beg my mum to take me home but I'm trying to get a lot better with that kind of thing but um it's just been a really dreadful day and I I feel bad because I should be out with my family right now and I'm missing out on doing something which is annoying and um the lighting of this video is also annoying me so yeah sorry about this weird vlog and it's it's not good or it's not funny and there's nothing interesting in it but it helps me to vent I suppose and it's filmed on my phone because um I've realized I can do that and I don't have to hold it with my arm because um that was annoying as well. Um, my last, I'm sorry about my last cucumber banana tofu review it being so shaky, but my camera is dying, Re and it, it's really I'm not really being able to film stuff on it right now. So it's the phone for the moment, but I'll get it fixed, or I'll find some other way of doing my videos. I'm gonna go now. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. And I, oh god, I'm sorry. I sound like such a complete misery. And it must get boring, and it must feel like I'm sort of. It must sound like I'm really narcissistic and it, it really must sound incredibly self-absorbed to just sit here and talk about my problems and my troubles and like my mental health and stuff but I do think that it can help people because I think that other people can relate to it and yeah so I'm sorry if this isn't your sort of thing um you don't have to watch it in the first place but I, I, I am sorry if you think it is a bit narcissistic and that kind of thing but I think it can help so that's why I've done it this video apparently I've been recording for about 12 minutes or so I'm not sure I think so I'm gonna stop now because this is gonna take ages to closed caption but that's a job for me tonight that'll keep me that'll keep me sane for the evening <laughs> so yeah I'm kind of home alone and my family are out having a meal and I'm just kind of here and there's no food and I'm just sad but anyway I'm sure I'll be fine and making this vlogs actually improved my mood I've noticed that I'm kind of getting back into the swing of stuff so I'm gonna go now and try not to cry <laughs> all evening and curl up in a fetal position Anyway, I love you so much, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Um, love you, bye.